Choosing a domain name. When it's time to finally choose a domain name, the world is your oyster and the possibilities are endless. Unless, of course, you choose a domain name that someone else has already chosen and currently owns. In that case, it's back to the drawing board time. Chances are that you already have an idea for a domain name you like. And if you are one of the lucky ones, your perfect domain name will be available. However, luck only goes so far. For the rest of us, we need to go do some domain detective work and find that elusive domain name we desire. Manually entering in one domain name after another in the domain search box of your chosen domain registrar, the company you will be purchasing your domain from, in the hopes of finding one that is available, can be a long and tedious process. However, there is hope. There are many free online resources that are available to help you find your perfect domain name, or at least something in the neighborhood. While there are tons of options when using free domain search tools online, here are four of the best at helping you find your next domain name. They are, in no particular order, NameMesh.com, Impossibility.org, LeanDomainSearch.com, InstantDomainSearch.com. Using just one of these tools, or even all four in combination, you are sure to find great help in finding your next domain name. Okay, hello and welcome. We're here at NameMesh.com, which is one of the domain search websites. It's an online resource that's free. We're going to take a look and see how we can use it. So your awesome domain name is waiting, and you can type in some information here, and you notice down here it will look for different categories, different information based on keywords that you place in this field up here. They have common where they'll check the availability of the most common TLDs or top level domains. There's new for new uh, suffixes. You'll see some new ones coming out all the time. There's similar world alternatives. SEO for SEO possibilities on the domain keywords. Short, if you're looking to take some of the keywords you use and give you a short domain. Fun, it does some fun things with the keywords, gives you some interesting options. And then extra and mix. So the easiest way to do this is just start typing in here. Now I'm working with WordPress and we're also working with funnels. Um, so let's try, we'll do WordPress. Now you notice as you start uh, typing, it says tip works best with two to three domain keywords separated by space, for example, name mesh. So let's do WordPress and let's do funnel, which are the two keywords that I'm interesting, uh, interested in using for this uh, start. And here it goes. It searches out and finds us. Um, first, let's see. Well, wordpressfunnel.com is available, score. Now, if I wanted to do this, uh, I could just do it right here and I could register now. Oh, that's sort of bad. And I actually found one right away. But let's take a look at what other options it gave me. Under common, you see it gives you wordpressfunnel.com. And if, and if you can click on these, that means they're, if they're listed here, that means they're ones that you could get. Um, and there's different versions where they put hyphens, they do different endings, net.org. Uh, same with similar. They might. Here's where you could do a little brain, brainstorming. WordPress funnel, WordPress channel, WordPress launder, WordPress siphon. Uh, all these different choices. Here in new. These are the new. Uh, you know, uh, domain endings. Club, site, online. So you get some other options. You could still use the same words. WordPress funnel. But now club. Dot site. Dot online. Dot link. Short. Where they're taking and and really compacting it. If you're looking for a short a domain name using WordPress and Funnel. Uh, fun, where they combine stuff like WordPrenel and WordPressL and WordNell.com. So you have some fun things. Here's Extra, where you have other uh, endings that you could use. And also Mix, where it just starts mixing stuff up. So even though I did just find the one I was looking for, just for, just for kicks, let's do this. Uh, the one thing about... Uh, Words like WordPress or Facebook, um, you have to be careful about using them in a domain. It could run you into problems uh, later on. So let's say instead of WordPress funnel, we're going to do 
WP funnel because everybody knows if you say Facebook, but then you say FB, hey, guess what? We know that's Facebook. WordPress, if we say WP, hey, guess what? We know that's WordPress. So now I'm putting those two in here and I'm hitting generate. Now we wait. Now, interesting, WP funnel is not, dot com is not available. But guess what? Chances are somebody realized that using the full word WordPress in a domain, probably not the best idea. So we look, and again, we have some other ideas. It's, 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 and if you want, if you do something and you find a domain that you like, but it's not available, you can always click this to check the who is. And what who is is, it's a service that you can go and see if they have registered the domain and they haven't used the privacy feature, you can find who actually owns it. Maybe it's somebody that you can contact. Maybe they'll sell you the domain for a price if it's something that you really, really, really want. Now, moving on here, uh, other options common where it takes WP Funnel. .net's available. So if I want, if I didn't want .com, I could do .net. Uh, though, honestly, if you're do cho choosing domains and you're trying to do a nice top-level domain, .com, if you can find the, the name that works with .com, that's usually your best bet. But he gives you some options here. Similar, WP Launder, WP Siphon. New, we have the .club, .site, different .rocks, WP Funnel. So you have all these options. Uh, short, W.PF, if, <laughs> if you want a very, very short domain. The fun, WPNL, WPunnel, WFunnel. Uh, same thing, extra mix. But as you can see, Name Mesh is very, very easy to use. Now, if you were going to use uh, Name Mesh and then you clicked on one of these, typically all these free domain search, uh, online searches, they always usually have affiliate programs. So for example, I wanted to use WPFunnel.net. It, it says click to check social usernames and register. If we click on that, what it'll automatically do is take us to a registrar, in this case GoDaddy, and it'll tell us here we can buy it for $11.99. Now, the, the, the trick here is that, oh, we're going to go back here. Name Mesh, if, if you click, if they help you find it and you search it and you like it and you click it, chances are they will make some money. This is where they make their money. They will make some money when they go and you register at GoDaddy this thing that you found over here. It's nothing bad. It's not like you're going to pay any extra. But um, GoDaddy is not my first choice in name uh, in, in domain name registration. So if you want, you can go through, click, and register. However, I would suggest that you make notes of which domains you want, and then later on, we're going to find the right place to go register our domain name. Okay, hello and welcome. This time we're at another site to do online searches for domain names, and it's free, and it's found at impossibility.org. Now impossibility.org has a fun little way of doing it. You need to pick a word that's probably a keyword that you want to use. Now earlier I had used funnel in one of mine, so let's use funnel. And what this one does is it adds something and you can decide adds a word and you can, you can select what types of words you can use to either the beginning or end of the word that you put in here and then it searches and then you find uh, domain names that are actually valid based on that search. So let's just try straight up. We're going to add adjectives to the beginning of my word funnel and click search. And here we have a list of unregistered domains which are solofunnel.com, airy funnel. What it's done is taken funnel, it's, it does dot coms, and it adds an adjective to the beginning and then sees that it's available. So you have off funnel, nude funnel, safe funnel, oval funnel, plus funnel, fair funnel. All these things are available. Now, say you didn't want to do an adjective. Well, we can stay here with funnel in here. You could change, and now you do this drop down, and there's so many options because you can choose adjectives, verbs, nouns. You can even choose what length a four letter adjective, a four letter verb, a four letter noun, or a five, or a six, or mix, which is pretty much anything like, uh, you know, whatever, you, whatever they decide to do. And you can also choose to either put it at the beginning or the end. 
So for example, if we stayed with funnel and adjectives and just put them to the end, and then we click search, now you'd have funnel shy, funnel dusk, funnel new, funnel next. These are all .com domains that it's finding. And again, the way they make money at impossibility.org is sending you over to GoDaddy. And at GoDaddy, this is where you register. You, send, you found funnelshy.com here at um, Impossibility. When you click through, you can buy it at GoDaddy for $11.99. Again, they make their money. This basically is a very simple search because you you have one specific keyword. Now you could choose, say I wanted to go with uh, six letter verbs and I wanted to put them at the beginning of my funnel and I search. And here we go, nodded funnel, vacate funnel, picket funnel, inject funnel, fallen funnel, import funnel. These are all available, these are all dot coms. And I think you get the idea here. With whatever your keyword is, you pick one. Uh, you can choose four letter, five letter, six letter, or mixed. Um, adjectives, verbs, or nouns. You can choose to put them at the beginning or end. And you put your word. And you know, let's go to mixed anything. And we'll put them at the beginning and we'll hit search. So declaredfunnel.com, veryfunnel.com, breakfunnel, zinc funnel, whatever funnel, filledfunnel.com. So, you know, some of these really wouldn't make sense for you. But occasionally, if you play around with these settings, of what words, where to put them, and what your keyword is, you can usually find something. And as you do the searches, everything it shows you is usually, unless there's a little a little glitch, is usually available. And again, you can click through, go to GoDaddy, and pick and re register. However, we'll show you later what our choice is for the number one place to register your domains. Okay, hello and welcome. In this video, we are looking at another free online resource for searching for a domain. Right now, we find ourselves at leandomainsearch.com. And this is find a great available domain, a domain name for your website in seconds. And all you do, you start up with enter a word that you want your do a domain name to include. And we've been working with funnel. So let's go funnel. And we are going to search domains. And what Lean Domain Search does is it takes your one word and then it found, it found three, over 3,629 available domains containing funnel. And it will search them. It will do various things. It will sort them by either popularity, by length of the domain name, and alphabetical. And also you can either choose all or starts with the search term or ends with search term. So what it does is if you use the word funnel like I did, it will have variations where some of them will put funnel at the beginning, some of, it, uh, some of them will put funnel at the end. Right now we're searching by popularity, which means according to Lean Domain Search, the stuff that's at the top is probably more popular based on funnel home, social funnel, funnel line. Now if you're looking for short, we can start uh, sorting out by clicking these options. So say instead of popularity, we wanted to search on length. And now it will take and give us the shortest domains it found using funnel. Of course, these aren't as exciting. X funnel, HD funnel, any funnel, bar funnel, day funnel, E funnel, or alphabetical. If based on this, you can you can go if you wanted to have something started. So abacus funnel, above funnel, academy funnel, and all the way down, and it'll keep going to B's bottom line funnel, bootstrap funnel. Lot of options. Now, say you wanted to only have domains where your funnel was your last word or ends with funnel. So we click down here to ends with search term. And now we can double we can double uh, sort it. We can sort it by popularity, length, and alphabetical, and then whether we want it, it doesn't matter if it's first or last, but if we want it to start with the term we searched for, in this case funnel, or end with the search term. So let's go with popularity but we also want to end with the search term. So now it's only going to show us what it considers the most popular, but with funnel at the end. So social funnel, find funnel, USA funnel, wiki funnel, no, simply funnel, silver funnel. If we wanted to go by length, now again, X funnel, we saw these before. If we wanted to do start with search term, now everything is going to be funnel. And you notice that it'll tell you how many domains it's available based on your search terms. 
So let's go popular and start with funnel. So the popularity, we have funnel home, funnel line, funnel planet, funnel mart, funnel vill, funnel server. All these options. If you wanted to change your word, it's just as easy as going up here and saying, well, earlier we did WordPress. So let's do WordPress and we search domains again. And again, it found 3,766 domains. It starts and it defaults to popular sorting with all. If you want to quickly change it, go to ends with search term and you can see it goes down travel WordPress, bio WordPress. If you wanted it to start, now it's WordPress game, WordPress card, WordPress capital. All these will be available as long as they're green. And if you click on one, it will actually check uh, and see what your registration options. Uh, also based on, um, you know, if, if a Twitter handle is available as well. So here you can actually do a little social media searching for your, uh, your domain and what else you can use for it. And here they give you more options. You can go with Bluehost, GoDaddy, Network Solutions, and what my choice normally is, I'm going to pull this up here. Uh, so Bluehost, GoDaddy, Network Solutions, Namecheap. And that's secret here, but I like to use Namecheap myself. But any of these are fine if that's what you like to use, because in the end, um, and again, like any other domain search, they make their money when you click through their link to go and register. If anything, you can use these uh, lean domain search like any other online search um, resource make a note of the ones you want, and then later you can go and register the domains you want. So there you go, leandomainsearch.com. Okay, hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to bring you over to instantdomainsearch.com. This is a great website to go to if you have a pretty good idea of what you want your website to be, your domain to be, and you want to test it out in real time to see what options are available. Once you come to the website, you just start typing. And as you type letters, say I was going to do WP Funnel, each letter, it will automatically check to see whatever you've typed to see if it's available. And it's real time. It's actually pretty cool. So if you wanted to do something, say WordPress, now WordPress funnel, WordPress app is available. And as you do type each letter, it will automatically start uh, letting you know if a domain is available. And usually it'll always show the .com up here. So you'll see the green or the red. And again, you can choose who is if you want to see who owns it. And you can make an offer to see if that they're selling it. Maybe you can get it if you really want it. I will do WordPressFunnel.com. It also has other popular extensions. You can see uh, for the uh, domain here, other options here and suggestions. It'll throw some other things and for sale if somebody has a website they're trying to sell. But InstantDomainSearch.com is not necessarily the first website I would come to look at. Uh, for searching for a domain because you have to really sort of have an idea of what you want to do or where you're going with it. But once you've narrowed down your options, this is a great website to come. Let's do something completely different. Let's do photo booth. That's something we do. So photo booth doesn't work because it's taken.com, but say photo booth USA. Uh, okay, <laughs> if you did USA America, Photo Booth USA America is available, but then you can get around that. Well, Photo Booth America, you see what you can do. You can start doing some stuff. You can say one. Well, Photo Booth one, say you do nine, 900 is available. So this is a real time way. You can have fun with this uh, search tool, but I would tell you to use other tools before you come here. But once you have a good idea of what you want to do with your domain, this is a great place to come to finally search for the exact one you want and then find your domain.